Friday before the candle workshop. I've got one day left to prepare for this thing and I'm pretty much done. I just got to run around town today, pick up a few things. I have to go get a new pack of labels so that everybody can mess with them. Uh, we're basically doing a combo label. It's going to have the AR workshop on the label and of course Stanley handcrafted on the label and then a space where people can kind of create their own name or scent or whatever they want on there. So I'm trying to think of a way to get lettering on that and I'm thinking maybe some individual letter stamps and then just kind of colored stamp pad. Once I get to Michael's I'll take a look around and see if there's anything better than that. Uh, I did run the one ad. I, I just did it for two days. It was $20. And I did an A-B test and it was terrible. So it, I'll go ahead and post the results on that one. It didn't turn out too well. I, th I don't think I did the targeting very well at all. So I'm gonna run another one today. It's only gonna run today and tomorrow morning. i uh, probably do it for another 10, maybe $20 just to push it out there. And then I'm gonna change the targeting on this one so that it's a little bit more wide open. And then I'll put the results of that one up too. So uh, today, and it's terrible today too, so. <laughs> I'm not going to be bothered that I'm not going outside, but I'm going to run around to the different stores, get everything lined up, and then tonight when I get home, I'll go through and kind of outline everything that I'm taking to the workshop. All right, it is Saturday, the morning of the event. I've got everything sitting right here, getting ready to run out, get last minute things. I've got everything here. The only thing I need to get, uh, I need to run to Michael's and get some uh, popsicle sticks to use for stirring. And then these things, I'm using these so everybody can pour their own wax and mix their oils. Um, I've got a bunch of them here, but they still have a bunch of wax in them. So I either need to clean them or these are a buck a piece. So I'm trying to go out and just find some more because I'm too lazy to clean the other ones. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna run out, get some popsicle sticks, get some more of those. Uh, I've got to pick up a couple melters and then I've actually got to go and in here, this is, a freaking mess but I've got all my oils right here so I need to go through and get everything I've got individual shot glasses for the oils I normally do this right here I normally do these right here but I didn't have people pick out their scents beforehand so everybody gets to come in they're gonna pick up the oils basically just kind of browse everything that's there pick their own oils and then they'll just pour uh, one ounce 1 1.2 it's gonna be right around one ounce so an update to yesterday, I was running the Facebook ad like I was telling you. It actually did really well. Uh, I don't know how many people actually signed up directly from the ad, but it got a few clicks. Uh, right after I placed the ad, we sold the rest of the spots and we actually opened up a couple more. So I don't know, we opened it up for 12 people this time. I know they opened it up for one, but I'm thinking they did it for two. So I think we have 14 people coming tonight, which is a good size crowd for one person doing the event. Uh, 15 is probably the highest I'll go. This is a pretty bright and wide open space. So uh, 15 people is gonna be a good, uh, it, it'll be a good crowd size for this event. All right, so I've got the ad right in front of me here. I was gonna go through it. It's still actually going. It goes up until about two o'clock today. Uh, the class is already full, so it's really doing nothing for me at this time. So uh, I placed the ad, which I'll go ahead and put up, but it's that right there. It's, uh, it just talks about the candle class. There's no picture or anything like that. Uh, it just says specialty candles, specialty workshop candle making. Gives a date and time. There was a link so you could click through. Uh, I put it in there for basically a little over, probably about 26 hours. I did it for $20. And the relevant score was a three, which is pretty low. But for this one, my target, I just opened up the targeting for 24, basically females, from 24 to 50 and then I left everything else blank so that's why the relevancy score is so low is just because I was trying to send it out to that age group and female only I didn't want to narrow it down anymore by like DIY or likes candles or anything like that because I'm advertising this in a five mile radius so I wanted to open that up to as many people as possible uh, it got seven link clicks, which is actually pretty good because I only needed to fill three spots. It's got, let me see if I can find the reach here. So it's got a reach of 3,545, which I know is lower because yesterday it was telling me 4,000 something. So I'll have to look on the actual web page to see what goes up. The lifetime results show four of the link clicks were 25 to 35, two of the link clicks were 35 to 44, and uh, one link click from 45 to 54. So I've said it in previous videos, the, the 
probably the perfect age group if you're gonna do any type of advertising for candles is definitely female and it's definitely 24 to 35, uh, 25 to 35, somewhere in that range. That's usually where I get most of my views, most of my clicks. So that's actually not too bad. I'm gonna, I'll pull this one up on the actual desktop so I can get a, bit, a better look at it. This is the mobile version, it doesn't show everything. Uh, but definitely a, su a successful ad. I mean, for $20 and it got a couple signups, so you can't beat that. Finally back from getting everything and I just wanted to say, I'm gonna go over all the supplies that I use for this thing, but I picked up these shot glasses at the dollar store and it's a dollar for three of them and they hold right around 1.2 to 1.3 ounces of oil almost all the way to the top. So these things are perfect for doing any kind of candle class. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get a ton of these and easy cleanup. All right, so let's get to it. So the class is still going. We've got about an hour, what, what is it, half an hour left? Yeah, half hour. So it actually went really well. We've got, uh, we had 14 signups. I think 13 people showed up, so it was a full class. Uh, I'm thinking 14, 15 is, that was a good size, right? Yeah. F 15 is probably the max I would go. You could definitely do a little bit more than that, but this was a pretty good size class. Uh, the AR workshop is where we are. I think it's right here, but uh, still waiting for everybody to finish up the project that they're doing inside. And then, uh, clip the wicks and then we're out of here. All right, so the candle class is done and I just wanted to do a follow-up video at the end of this one just to kind of go over everything that I did leading up to it, the actual class and kind of my takeaways from that class. It was actually really nice to see a couple people that actually watched the channel at the class, so that was really awesome. Uh, one person that's in the DIY Facebook group, so that was really cool too. So leading up to the class, I got in touch with AR Workshop who let us come in and they kind of hosted us, uh, let us come into their shop. If you've never heard of AR Workshop, I would definitely look into them. They're basically a Pinterest dream shop. Uh, anybody that likes to do those Pinterest type projects, uh, and I, I put a bunch of pictures up, basically the plaques that say your hometown, home sweet home, stuff like that, uh, blanket ladders, all kinds of stuff like that. They're a national chain and they're kind of popping up everywhere. Very cool shops. And I can't thank Jasmine enough for letting us come in. It was really cool. Uh, we've got another one scheduled, so I'm very excited about doing more of the candle workshops at AR Workshop. So I'll leave a link to the website down below. So definitely take a look around because I don't know how many there are, but I was going through the website on the locations that they have and they're popping up everywhere. I think we've got three around this area. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you're looking to do any kind of candle workshops, they're a great place to go. And I, I think they pretty much work exactly the same way that uh, they do like paint, uh, paint and wine nights, paint nights, anything like that. So I think they would be open or any of them would be open to having a candle workshop to have them come in there and do a class and put on something like that. So definitely get in touch with them. So leading up to the class, we basically put everything on Facebook, Instagram, kind of promoted it like that. I did a couple ads. One of them turned out terrible. The other one got quite a few more views and I think you saw that one earlier or I kind of posted some pictures from that one. I think the total reach on that one was right around 4,000 people. I ran it for $20 and I stripped out all the targeting except for an age group and I targeted females from 24 to 54. I think that was the range that I did and uh, basically I'm in a small area. I kept it right around a five mile radius so the targeting or the ad placement only went out to just this area so leaving any other target demographics and anything like that out was pretty good. So it basically just blanketed all females in the area from 24 to 54, which is a good range. And it turned out to be a lot better than targeting something like people who are interested in DIY. I think that really took down, I don't know how many people are in the area, but let's call it 40,000. 
So 40,000 and you, you start to target something like DIY, you're gonna instantly cut that down to, let's call it 20,000. So from 40,000 to 20,000, and then if you start adding in more specific targets, you're gonna really limit that. So I left it kind of wide open so I could hit kind of a broader target. And uh, it seemed to pay off because the ad that I placed on the last day got a lot more, basically we filled up the rest of the class. I think we had five or six spots left when I placed the ad and within four or five hours, I don't know that it was all directly from the ad, but uh, it definitely got a lot of clicks going through there and the class was filled up within a couple hours so that really helped out so coming into the class i will say anybody that's looking to do this in the future uh, I, I did another one where i talked about doing a candle making class and kind of the supplies that go into it coming into this one we left the signups at 12. we opened it up for two more so we had 14 people sign up i think 13 actually showed up and uh, that turned out to be perfect so Anybody going forward, I would say 13 to 15 people is really the sweet spot. It's a big enough crowd to where you're gonna make some money back doing the candle class, but it's a small enough crowd to where you can hit everybody and kind of talk to everybody individually. If anybody has questions, you're not really caught up with too many more people. When I did the one that had 27 people, I couldn't get to nearly anybody at all, and I felt really bad on that one, and uh, the class went extremely well, so I shouldn't feel bad, but I wanted to get more individual time with people so that I could explain things a little bit better. A lot of people have questions about the wax, why you use it, sinkholes, the wicks, the fragrance oils, anything like that, and when the class is too big, unless you've got a couple helpers, you're really not gonna give people the individual time that they would want or that I would want to give them either. So the 13 people that were there last night turned out to be perfect. The table was really set up perfect. Uh, in the AR workshop, I can't speak highly enough about the shop and the people that were there. Jasmine and Holly, who helped us out, they were a great help too. And just having that shop and the, the big giant table that we did it on, turned out to be perfect. So it was basically a huge square table that everybody sat around and I could sit in the corner with my son on the other side, kind of helping out and showing how to place the wicks and everything. And unlike the very first candle wine class that I did, this place was brightly lit so you could actually see everything, unlike that first one. I basically went in, showed everything. We just went over the checklist, what you'll need, uh, the pouring pitcher, the wicks, the jars, basically showed everybody there what it was and how to do everything. And then getting the, the candles ready was actually probably the easiest part. And this is one thing I'll say going forward, if anybody's looking to do this one, uh, setup time was about an hour. The actual class time is about two hours and the breakdown was pretty good. We actually got out of there, I think 5.05. .05. The class was from three to five. I showed up at two, an hour to set up. And as soon as you get there, you're gonna wanna place the melters and turn them on. And one thing that we found very quickly is each melter will require its own power strip. Uh, plugging them directly into the wall may not be a good idea because they do draw a lot of power and depending on the, uh, the establishment, this was well powered, so it turned out great. But uh, we used two power strips and I initially just plugged in one and then put both melters on the power strip. Uh, and it would blow it within about two minutes. Not that the melters take a lot of power, but they're constantly cycling the power, which flips the breakers uh, or the power strips. So if you do run melters, which I would strongly recommend, you're gonna wanna have a separate power strip for each melter that you do. So we initially got that one set up, get in there. Uh, we set up the melters, got the, max, got the wax melting so that by the time the class started at three o'clock, the wax would be fully melted and it, we timed it perfectly. So by the time everybody had their candles done, the wax was completely melted and ready to pour. So within that hour from two to three o'clock before the class started, we went around, placed all the jars, and basically had everything, uh, the, the pitchers, uh, the wicks, the stickers, the, the, the wick holders, basically everything at their station. So that when they came in, they didn't have to run around and get everything. As everybody started coming into the shop, I had them all come over. This time, instead of having, instead of having the individual bottles like I did in the last one, we just had everything set up in the big bottles like this. So I had probably about 20 of these set up and I just had everybody come in, take a look through the fragrance oils, see what you like, and then basically had, or so they had an idea of what they, or what fragrance they would want by the time they got to pouring the wax. So an hour setup time, Time was absolutely perfect and then by the time everybody came in until they actually poured was probably a half an hour to 40 minutes so 30 to 40 minutes so it, it goes really quick so we basically went through everything I had everybody kind of place their wicks at the same time showed them how to do it 
I put the chip or the the wick clips on there basically the chip clips on the wicks had everything uh, out there and then once everybody had the jars placed I had everybody get up and grab we had some shot glasses that I showed you that held the perfect amount of wax so once everybody got done kind of getting their candles ready I had everybody get up come over to the uh, the table that had the fragrance oils everybody got their own oils poured it and then basically took it back to their station and then they came back with the pouring pitchers. Now, one thing I will say with the pouring pitchers, I picked these up at the dollar store for a dollar. Very easy, a good way to go. Even if you do throw these out, they're a dollar a piece, so you can kind of absorb that into the cost. Uh, I haven't tried to clean these out yet. They're not the easiest to clean out, but I think if I just kind of throw these in the microwave, heat it up, I can just wipe them out really well. But these turned out extremely well. What I was gonna say is the one thing I would caution against, when I normally do my candles, I weigh out the wax. So I weigh out about 16 ounces of wax when I pour these. And that 16 ounces will make three eight ounce candles. I didn't do that with these. Now, since you won't be weighing out the wax, you're actually gonna wanna put, if you're doing just a, a pound of wax for three candles, which is a pretty good way to go, you're actually gonna pour about 20 fluid ounces of wax into these. So, so it ended up being about 20 ounces of wax in this to, uh, to fill the three candles that were there. So the weight of the wax and then adding the fluid ounces of wax is definitely different. So you're gonna wanna test that before you go out and make sure that you get the right amount of wax. Cause I had a few people come back up, they poured 16, not realizing that we needed to get 20 in there. So. Uh, that was a correction on my part. And then once everybody got their wax, they took it back to the tables, uh, add their fragrance oil, stirred it, and then pour the wax. And this is where having a partner like AR Workshop like I did tonight really worked out well for the class. And that was having something to do while the candles cure. It's gonna be very important. I, I talked about this one in the last video that I did, having like sugar scrubs or something. They did a plaque uh, or a, a DIY sign at AR Workshop yesterday with this uh, with this workshop, and I'll show you what they did up here. But that turned out actually absolutely perfect because, like I was saying, when getting the candles ready and pouring actually goes by pretty quick. Once you explain everything and what they're doing, the different waxes and all stuff like that, even if you stretch it a little bit, you're still only looking at like 45 minutes to get all that done, and the candles are waiting to cure or harden. So basically after that, and especially if you're using soy, you're still gonna have a good hour to an hour and a half depending on where you put the heat of the wax. So if you actually have the wax all the way up to 180, you're probably looking at a good hour and 20 minutes before that wax uh, it kind of hardens to where you can clip the wicks and let and let people take off with their candles. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. That's why if you have a two hour class, you want to have everybody kind of pouring by about the 30 or 40 minute mark. That way you have a full hour and a half to basically make sure the candles are hardened before they leave. And like I was saying, the, the DIY plaque that the AR Workshop put on was perfect. Uh, it was timed really well. Uh, they went through, basically created their own plaque. They showed them how to do everything, lay the stencils down, paint it. And by the time they get done, the candles were almost like perfectly hardened. So that actually worked out really well. There was maybe one or two people that poured uh, wax a little bit later. So their candles took maybe another five minutes, but again, everything was done by five o'clock and people were leaving. So the timing of it worked out perfect. Pouring the candles and having kind of a, even if you don't use AR Workshop, I would definitely tell you to get a second side project to do during that last hour or the hour and a half sometimes uh, to let the candles harden and cure. So overall, this candle workshop turned out extremely well. Uh, I'm glossing over a lot right now. I'm still trying to go through my my head in the day and try to figure out what I, I had a bunch of stuff in my head that I was gonna say on the video and I think I covered everything. If I missed something, please let me know in the comments down below or you can email me or message me privately and kind of, I had a lot of people ask me about that one last time because they had a candle workshop coming up. So please reach out and message me, ask in the comments down below or email and we can go over anything that I missed here or if you've got a different type of event, uh, I'd be more than willing to help you out and kind of figure out the logistics and the items and everything that you would need for that. And again, I can't thank Jasmine and Holly and AR Workshop enough. This, the event and the venue was absolutely perfect for candle making. If you have an AR Workshop next to you, I would definitely tell you to reach out to them. Uh, it's a great place. Even if you're not doing candle making, this is a great place just to go for date night and just get out and do any type of Pinterest type project. And that's kind of the best way I can put it. It's a, uh, 
it, it's basically a Pinterest dream type shop. They do all that kind of stuff, very cool stuff, and something you should definitely look out for. And again, for this one, I think I'm gonna try to do in the, in the video description down below, put all of the items that I used. It was pretty straightforward with this one. I just did the three eight ounce jelly jar candles. We did soy wax, and the reason I went with soy on this one is because I wanted it to pour and set and not have to worry about any sinkholes. Uh, that's definitely another thing you need to think about if you're gonna be using paraffins or a parasoy blend. After you get done with the candles hardening, you're gonna have to have a heat gun there to fix any sinkholes. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind if you're gonna choose different waxes. So the soy turned out really well. It does take a little bit longer to harden, but if you keep the wax temperature down a little bit and you give people enough time within the two hour uh, class window, you're gonna be more than fine. So I used the two melters, I'm still trying to go over all the uh, supplies I use. So the two melters, we had the pouring pitcher for absolutely every single person. They were a buck a piece, so $13, $14. We had some shot glasses. They came three for a dollar from the dollar store. They worked out perfect, so I had, uh, I bought like 21 of those because I've got a bigger class coming up or just to have some there as well. I used the chip clips to hold the wicks, which you've seen in a previous video and then just uh, your basic Wix stickers. I, we didn't use red RTV. I, I definitely let everybody know, but the red RTV takes about an hour to kind of harden up. So we definitely don't have that kind of time. And uh, the Wix stickers turned out perfect for placing those wicks. I will say the one request that I did get that I didn't even think about, and it's something that I'm gonna try to correct and find a way to do it for the next class. And that was basically being able to make, everybody was making three eight ounce candles, but it was all the same fragrance. And I had a lot of people ask, if they could make a separate fragrance for every candle. And we didn't have the tools to do it uh, last yesterday, but I think I'm gonna do that for the next one. And I think these droppers might work out perfect. I still need to test these and measure them, but I'm thinking about having these droppers so that you can add, uh, basically, instead of having the shot glass, which will fill the one pound of wax, I think it'd be a good idea to have these. So basically you can take out just a little bit of fragrance oil and put this directly into each of the jars and then pour the wax into the jars. So you would have the opportunity to create three separate fragrances and three separate candles. I don't know exactly how much that dropper holds, so I need to test that one. Uh, I, I was kind of calculating it. I think it's one or two of those droppers, but, uh, it, that's definitely a good option and gives people a little bit more flexibility and kind of creativity to uh, to come up with their own fragrances or their own scents for the candles. So I think that's pretty much everything. If I missed something, which I know I did, somebody's gonna have a question about the candle class that I just, I'm not thinking about right now, please ask in the comments down below. And of course you can follow me on all the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, the website, uh, reach out to me on any single one of those. If you do add me, reach out and say hi so I can add you back. And we do have another class coming up. So if you're in the Seattle, Tacoma, Gig Harbor area, anywhere around this area, uh, I'm gonna leave a link for that down below and I would definitely jump in and sign up for this one early because we had a lot of people waiting to sign up and trying to sign up for this class the last day. So I think this one's gonna fill up a lot quicker. So I'll include a link to that down below. And again, thank you for watching.